Hello everyone, my name is Goa Lundqvist and today we're going to look at something really cool that exists in the London review or London release. What we're going to look about is the roll bike in the late recovery that has popped up in the ServiceNow world, which is seems to be some really cool stuff that we can really use. So let me share my screen like this and I'll just pop up my little camera. So what we're going to look about was called rollback and delete recovery and it was actually something I just stumbled upon. So let's take it from the start. So what I actually did was this and I'll just copy out this one. I was doing some fun stuff playing around in the screen background and normally I just do like this when I divide the R number to see that I actually have the record I'm playing with. So I typed run script and then suddenly I noticed the thing up here, script exclusion history and recovery available here. Like I don't remember seeing that around. So I clicked on it and I could actually see what has happened. This was my code. I can see the performance, how fast it was, and the results, and I'm like, hmm, this seems useful. I faked the record summary. Well, that didn't give much, so what I did was went back again, and instead of you using that, I'll just change something, and I'll do an update, I thought. So let's hit run script, and then suddenly I can see, hmm, my script actually triggered an update on the instant table for one record, and it actually triggered an insert on the sysflow context for one record. And that is because my script, if I click here, you could see I actually changed the short description and I actually have a flow that is triggered when short description is changing. So that's why that was inserted as well. Now I can see on the incident that I was changing that there was a new value suddenly pop up transition. And then in here I can see that the description has changed as well, and this is from the flow designer. Looking at the script history, I can see the result as well. And I can also see that one incident is blue, it's updated, and of course the sysflow context has been inserted. Now, the really cool thing here is that if I would like to roll back these changes that I did with my script, I can actually just click on rollback script execution, type yes, and click OK. Now you can see it's run, it says done. I go back to my incident. The presence doesn't really work, so I need to reload the form, and ta da! I have the old short description back. The description doesn't change because that is the flow itself that changed that and not the script which I executed on. The question is, and I should have looked up that before, wonder if the flow contact is being deleted. Hmm, let's do it again. Let's go back, run the script. We can see it changed. If I type flows, today's executions, this is probably the one, let, let's look at my watch. Yeah, that is the one. Let's go back, move that one. Let's click on the script's history. One updated, one, and let's roll it back again. Yes, okay. It's rolling back, close, I'll go, reload my incident, it's rolled back, and let's go look if it's deleted this context that is created first. And yeah, it's gone. Sadly, it can't revert the stuff that then this one created, which means basically that if I do some changes, that have done a business rule would do some other changes. It will probably not roll back the whole process, but it's a good start. 
Now, one other thing that this rollback and delete recovery has, besides the able to roll back, is that if you type rollback here, you have scripts execution history. You can see I have done a couple of others. <laughs> Some of them when I was trying to record through Skype, but somehow the video crashed. So <laughs> this is the second time I'm recording this one. Uh, so you can actually go in and see, okay, what did I do here? And of course you shouldn't click on the username because you, then you get the user record. Let's hit the script execution record. And now I can actually see the code I was running and it didn't affect any records and so on. If I click on rollback context, I can actually see which rollback has been rolled back and which one is just ready to be rolled back. So you can have a good overview of what's going on. Then we have the delete recovery. In this case, you can see the different times stuff has been deleted and in which ways, meaning actually that I can take this incident, incident 10001, hit delete. And by doing that, you can see that it will also delete one task SLA record. I'll delete it. It's that wasn't the best search story, but yeah, you can see it's gone. Now I can actually go to rollback. I can either go in here and try to find it with the right transaction, or I can click on rollback context and easily say, I know this is the one I did. So let's click on that one. I can see here that it actually deleted one incident and one task SLA. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Let's do a rollback. Yes, I want to roll back and done. Now let's go back to our incidents. And we're finding 12 and here it is. The top one is back from the dead. And scrolling back, you can see that the SLA is actually back as well. <clears throat> the only darn part is that I noticed that it will delete the the SLA record first and then the instant record. So while deleting the task SLA record, it actually managed to put in a, a note in the activity log on the instant that it has been removed. But when I revert it back, it doesn't remove that activity in the activity log. So you might see some strange behaviors like that as well. But Besides that, I think this is a really nice feature and just be able to see the code you did in the script background is really nice because I don't think I'm the only one that accidentally did something script background and then accidentally closed the tab and all the code was gone. Now I can actually go into the log and see and fetch the stuff, which is really nice. I'll put the URL for the documentation in the YouTube description and I think that's about it. Hopefully you'll find some other cool stuff in here as well. So thanks for that and see you later.